Hi, it's uh, Jake from Bush and Bush Coffee Systems and today we thought we'd take the opportunity while we had our little project machine in pieces to show you what we consider to be one of the most important parts of the espresso machine and that is the group head. This is the group head from our little Boema. This is a side view. Normally it would be mounted like this in the top of the machine. And this is where your group handle basket would normally attach. More on that in a second. Water flows normally in this pipe. It has a second pipe on this head, which allows for the thermal siphon system to operate, which essentially carries heat up into this thermal mass and keeps it at the same, hopefully, temperature as the brew water. That is so that when you start to run a shot and water flows into this, it means that the mass of metal here does not rob any temperature from the brew water that's coming out of the boiler. We want to try and keep those temperatures as stable as possible. As water, as when pressure is applied, which is applied equally across this, water actually flows in this port and that port travels, comes down inside here, comes to a U-turn in here and then travels back this way. We'll just remove the cap. And we'll remove the filter. And water flows in this port here from this one. Fills this cavity here. And this part here is known as the restrictor. Always lots of talk about the restrictor. In this unit, this is a 0.7 restrictor. And the role of the restrictor is to change the free flow rate to a metered amount. This is essentially the part that does the metering through this orifice in the centre here. If we change this from a 0.7 restrictor, operating our pump at 9 bar, we get one flow. If we change this to a 0.8 restrictor, bigger hole here, same pump pressure, we get a higher flow. If we change this to a 0.6 restrictor, same for the same pressure on the pump, we'll get a lower flow. This is typically how we adjust the free flow rate on coffee machines, on espresso machines, by changing this restrictor. Once the water flows through the restrictor it then becomes at a metered rate, comes out this hole into what we know as the three-way valve which is typically mounted onto there. We have a solenoid sits here and the dump tube sits on there. It's called the three-way valve because it's got three holes. One here, the inlet port, this hole here, which is an exhaust port, which takes water to the group head. And this is another exhaust port, which is the dump tube. So when pressure is being applied, water flows in through here, into here. The solenoid has been activated. Typically that click sound that you hear in here. We see a valve seat there. This is the seal surface here. When the valve activates, it pulls this back using magnetic field induced onto here by the coil of the solenoid, which closes this seal at the end here, in the bottom of here, with this seal. And it opens this surface so that water can flow out through there into here which goes down and flows along a passage through here and comes out here normally connected to there will be a block like this dispersion plate shower screen 
water flows out here into this cavity. You can see the stain there. Into this area here. And then water travels down one of these four journals. The centre one here would normally be blocked by the screw that holds in the shower screen. Water comes out these four holes into another cavity which is now this surface area in here because that sits on there. Water goes from those four holes to these six holes and gets distributed out through the shower screen. Remember, there's a screw in here holds all this together so that port is blocked. And it goes from there into your, your coffee shot which is in your portafilter basket. Pressure and water flows through there. There's pressure uh, at a reduced rate from the pump through in the cavity of the espresso shot. When you end the shot the three-way valve is released and it closes on this seat which closes the pressure port but because there's an amount of pressure inside that cavity still when this closes here it opens the port at the bottom there and allows that to be open and that exhaust pressure drops straight down into the tray and we hear that click and that shh exhaust sound at the end. Now the important thing to understand about this is that when that exhausts any coffee liquor that is in the top of here in the top of your park is actually carried all the way through this area through here through here up into this area into here through that journal and up into this void into there so you can actually have coffee liquor from the end of every shot inhabiting this tube now it's important, this is why it's very important that when you start to run a shot, you purge before you load up your group handle because that runs fresh water, fresh, hot, clean water through here and rinses that, all of that area out from the previous shot. And it's also why it's important to regularly clean the system with a little bit of machine cleaner in your blind, pressure, put a little bit of um, machine cleaner in the bottom of the blind, run a little bit of water in it so it starts to dissolve but leave enough airspace so that you can build pressure with the group handle when, when it applies pressure to exhaust that coffee cleaner all the way through and sit into these journals and you'll eventually see the foam flow out into the tray. It's very important that you get that machine cleaner to flow through there. Simply locking a group handle in and just leaving it running does nothing. It just applies water straight into the blind and it stops when it gets to the pressure that the pump is, has its relief set at. It's very important to turn it on, turned off, turned on, turned off. That builds up pressure and it, when it exhausts to relieve the pressure, it pushes that cleaning solution back through these journals to dissolve any coffee liquor that's building up. Too often, nine, most of the problems that people have in this area with their machine is because and not allowing the machine cleaner to get right in through all of these surfaces and to clean them properly. So that's our little tip for the day. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, became a little bit more educated. Cheers from Bush and Bush Coffee Systems.